This is Heart Month. This is February, and the Ronald Perlman Heart Institute is actively engaged, involved with increasing awareness that heart disease is the number one killer of women in this country, more than all cancers combined. We are increasing awareness. We are screening for heart disease by checking blood pressures, cholesterol, uh, diabetes. We have been out in the community. We have been in our hospitals community. We have been on national television. We have been partnered with the American Heart Association's Go Red campaign. We're doing all we can because we know increasing our society's understanding of this disease will save lives. These screenings are so important because I was screening all morning. We get people who are afraid to go to their doctors. We get people who come here who tell us really important things about their health. And we get people motivated to make a difference in their health. We educate them and we empower them and we get them enthused about it. And it's really remarkable the lives we've touched today. This is a preventable disease. If we can increase awareness, get especially younger people active in their health, get their blood pressure checked, get their, their cholesterol levels checked, mm -hmm. get exercising, try to improve your diet, stop smoking, and uh, get your weight and waistline lower. Practice stress reduction, get a good night's sleep. All of these things are fundamental to a healthy heart. And anything that's good for the heart is good for your overall health and quality of life. We're doing everything we can and we're, we're, uh, we're educating people on all these points. Uh, heart disease has always been considered a disease in men, and it's really important that women understand it is their biggest health crisis as well. More women die of heart disease than all cancers combined. And once a woman gets diagnosed with heart disease, she will do worse and will be more likely to die from it than a man. And it is the youngest women who have the greatest death discrepancy rates compared to the youngest men, and we don't know why. But we do know one of the great new statistics is that 50% of women who believe they're having symptoms of a heart attack will call 911. That means 50% of women who believe they're having symptoms of a heart attack won't call 911. But 80% will call if they think somebody else is having a heart attack. Women should be exercising. Women should be eating better. Women should not smoke. Women should practice stress reduction. Uh, there are so many things we can do to prevent heart disease. Get your waistline checked. If it's above Ideally, it should be 29 or less, but certainly less than 35, and that's a great mark of your heart's health. And anything that you can do to reduce your waistline, no matter what it is, is going to improve your heart on cancer.